That's just a flaw. There's just a flaw with cash bail fundamentally. A Milwaukee homicide suspect arrested three times by U.S. Marshals posts more than $100,000 cash bail. But a Waukesha judge says not so fast. That's our big story at five. One of Wisconsin's most wanted figures, a fugitive, is out of the Milwaukee County Jail again, and somebody ponied up six figures to get him out. But he didn't get very far, at least not yet. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson live outside the Milwaukee County Jail where phone calls tip prosecutors off to a homicide suspect's plan to flee the state again. Right, Brian? Yeah, Ted and Mary, Kenneth Twyman had been here in the Milwaukee County Jail since July 6th. That's when U.S. Marshals had picked him up for the third time in four years. Now, just late last week, someone ponied up more than $100,000 cash to set him free again. But first, he had to take care of a couple of warrants in Waukesha. Where is all this money coming from? If you think higher cash bail is supposed to protect the public from the most dangerous criminal defendants, it has done little to deter Kenneth Twyman. This is someone odd. I have somebody who qualifies for public defender representation, but is literally sitting on $125,000 worth of cash. U.S. Marshals have arrested him three separate times, the most recent on a warrant for homicide. We were hoping that he would stay in there until his trial date. Each time judges set higher cash bail, each time he posts it and disappears. He doesn't just flee and not come back to court. He flees the jurisdiction. He flees the state of Wisconsin. Family members of the man Twyman is accused of killing asked us not to show their faces or use their names. It's very hard for us to deal with. But they were incensed when they heard late last week that someone posted more than $100,000 cash on Twyman's behalf and the Milwaukee County Jail released him again. $100,000 to drug dealers is no money. They had that stashed away in the refrigerator in a rubber band. Before Twyman could go free, deputies transferred him to the Waukesha County Jail to settle a pair of warrants. And on Monday, prosecutors revealed that jailhouse phone calls tipped them off to Twyman's intentions of heading to California or Las Vegas. Planning to flee the state the second he gets out. So Waukesha County Court Commissioner David Herring upped the ante again, setting a new bail of $200,000 cash, keeping one of Wisconsin's most wanted in jail for now. If he gets out, gets this 200,000, do you think there's any chance he's going to show up for his trial? No, he no. will never. He will never. Now, if you're wondering where Kenneth Twyman got more than $100,000 to get out of the Milwaukee County Jail here, we were wondering the same thing. Coming up on Fox 6 News at 6, we're going to show you where that money came from and why one state lawmaker says this is a prime example of the need for bail reform in Wisconsin. Outside the Milwaukee County Jail, Brian Polson Fox 6 investigators. That's certainly the question everybody's wondering right now. Interested to hear the answer. Brian, thanks.